Alright, so today's job is changing a ball joint on Tarek's car for MOT. On the lower arm, we're going to start this by removing the hook cap gently. New gun with 21mm in it. Take the wheel off. Obviously, the car's been jacked up first. For the first bolt, you're going to need a 19mm socket and a 19mm spanner. 19mm spanner goes on the nut, like so, and 19mm socket goes on the front of the bolt. She's used in there good. So we take the wheel off and discovered that the front pin bush on the lower arm, the bolt has welded itself into it. So the only thing you can really do at this point is cut it out. So probably going to put a time lapse of me cutting this entire lower arm off. And this is a spare I have and we bought a new ball joint. So we'll put a new ball joint in it, fit this into the car and go from there. These two bolts at the back, I'm going to do in the conventional manner, and the one for the ball joint itself will also come out in the normal manner. But what I'll do is I'll cut the lower arm off uh, across here with a reciprocating saw, and then get in here with a grinder, and basically two uh, ends of the bolts will fall out, and then I'll just put a new bolt through. I have spares. So this is an aftermarket uh, lower arm because this is using an 18mm bolt on this ball joint. Um, this isn't unheard of but it's not the original so it's not ideal. Um, these can be a bit of a pain to get out. Um, obviously you can't get in there. So what I'm going to have to do is to remove the two bolts up there, the two 17s. Uh, pop the drive shaft hub nut out and pull the drive shaft out away and then get an 18 spanner onto it properly on the ring end. It's a lot, uh, a lot safer to do it that way, otherwise, you're sort of pulling your entire body weight onto the knuckle. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I'm going to remove the clip that holds the brake pipe on, which is this thing. That's one side. Not the first time I've had these off in the last few days. Good. And there's also the split pin here. Uh, not entirely sure who did this, but it's clearly not the right split pin, but oh well. Split pin out, remove that. And 30mm socket, I think. No. Sweet no. Right, 
This here is the nut that I'm trying to get undone right there. You can get an 18mm socket onto it with a extension bar if you're being a bit rough. Um, big ugga dugger. Like that. Put the CV joint off to one side. Um, people mess about with ball joint splitters trying to put them in there and wedge it against it and do all sorts of nonsense and all they end up doing is tearing the boot. All you no normally need to do, a little bit of upwards pressure by lifting it and giving it a... Bit of a tap. The pull joint on this isn't actually too bad, but for the sake of changing it, because we'd already bought a new one planning on not fighting this one. Um, I have a brand new ball joint here, so I'm going to change it. No, no. It this is the ring off of the ball joint. What I'm going to do now is walk over to my press, press this out, and then press the new one in. See you in a minute. And that should be the... These don't take a lot of force in theory, you can sometimes get them out with a hammer, but I just take the uh, the easy route. Right, well, if you remove the dust cover, so you take the circlip off of the ball joint, pop it into the shim on top of it and press them down. So I've refitted the, this little clip here. You have to wrap it round twice to hold the dust uh, cover in place. Just going to cut the remainder of this bolt out. Um, so. Because I can get the nut off, as long as I cut the head of the bolt off, I can just slide this out to one side. So that's what I'm going to do. And that is all that remains of that lower arm. I've popped the two bolts out of the shock that, hold, that was holding the hub up in the air. Um, so all I need to do is just feed the CV joint back into the hub. Um, try and avoid hitting the, the seals. And sometimes I just need a bit of wiggle. And it'll go in. And then need the washer. And the nut. And then I'll gun that down in a moment. Make sure the brake pipe is this side of the shock. Lift the hub up. Twist the shock into the correct position. And offer it up to the hub. Like so. The bolt doesn't really matter which way the bolt goes in, as long as it's in. That's one. This is the second. Don't be tempted to try and use random hardware store bolts on these. They have a very specific thread, and they also have a machined finish here. Um, if you try using normal 8.8 .8 grade bolts, you will snap them. Um, it's a known issue, and these also set your camber. You can get camber bolts if you need to adjust it, but just stick with these. You can buy them new from Nissan. They think they're about £12 each the last time I checked. Or you can buy them off me usually for about 20 quid a set posted to your door next day. For anyone who's wondering why people call these camber bolts, if you loosen that off and you tip it back, 
and you file out this hole or this hole either way you can adjust the static camber obviously i don't advise doing it this way get proper camber bolts or uh, strut tops which have camber plates in them but yeah This bolt here, um, that bolt hole there, this will sit into that dip with a bracket over it and two bolts. It's quite difficult to film this because I'm working on the floor, but I'll bolt it up and show you afterwards. I'm just doing up the bolts on the back here. Always check the thread uh, condition on the bolts when they come out and when they go back in, because if you're not careful, you will strip the threads out of the car and that's going to be a bad day for everyone as you can see as i'm tightening this down it's pulling the the bracket up into the car also make sure that this little nub here sits through the hole if it doesn't it will damage the bush ask me how i know all right tightened up to ft And then the next bolt to tighten up is this pin bush at the back, which is in here, that one there. And then one last tighten on this bolt here, and then on the hub nut. So this pretty much brings us to the end of a lower arm change. New bolt in there after having cut the old one out. Two, two bolts put back in here, one of which I had to change because the thread was knackered. Bolt in the new ball joint done up this which I need to replace the cap and put a new split pin through it and if I pull this round this brake pipe there is a flat on the top and a dimple on the bottom and there is a matching piece in the bracket which the flat piece sits into the flat and the dimple sits into the dimple and then this clip here goes into the slot like so and just give him a bit of a tap with pretty much anything. Um, side of a spanner will will do. And that's it. And that's how you change a lower arm.